This video is about the different methods of leveraging the database engine tuning advisor to do what you need to do to tune indexes, drop tables, drop specific columns, augment specific stored procedures, whatever you want to do to optimize your database. Now I can tell you that in many instances there are going to be many unused indexes, there are going to be entirely unused tables. Now I'm going to include a script at the bottom to query for specifically unused tables that you can then cross-reference in an attempt to clean up whatever database you happen to be managing because I can guarantee you that probably 30 percent of those tables are not being used or they can be concatenated into specifically existing tables. Um, this is going to free up um, small amounts of space or large amounts of space but in more importantly it will also make the database easier to consume. Okay so let's go through right now and let's just look at the database engine tuning advisor. Notice this is SQL Server 2012 so I am not actually going immediately, immediately into the profiler. This of course comes stock with standard and above but I want to focus primarily on this because the database engine tuning advisor now allows you to query the execution plans okay so in effect it allows you to go through and query the reality of what has been consumed within the database the database as well as the SQL Server instance as a whole now when the SQL Server service gets restarted those execution plans do go away okay and those execution plans may may or may not reflect as accurately as the profiler but you know this is a new service and it's much it, it's relatively easier than the profiler okay because the profiler does does have a small amount of overhead while you're taking in that data this just queries the direct execution plans this gives you the opportunity to do this on a production setting without having to have the conversation with your end users and or business managers regarding the 5% overhead of, of the SQL Server Profiler. So in this instance, we're just going to take this and we're just going to run it against all of these. Okay. Now, you can see here we have the file, we have the table, and we have the plan cache. This is specifically available in SQL Server 2012. The table and the file both need to be derived from the SQL Server Profiler. What happens then is you either, if you're in a development environment, you either start playing with the application to try and fire those sort of procedures, fire those queries, fire those triggers, what have you. Um, fire backup procedures, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, to try and mimic the production level environment. You can also attach this to the production environment. Of course, there is the 5% overhead. This is writing it to a file. Okay, this is not writing it to a table. In this instance, we make a table that then holds it. Doesn't matter. It it really it really doesn't. I do mine to a table just so I can read it directly in. Okay, but in this instance, we're doing it to our plan cache, and you'll notice this does not is not highlighted any longer because we don't need to proceed with anything additional because the plan cache is already stored. Okay? So now we have any anything else that we want to actually choose. Okay? I don't I don't want to to advocate specifically that you augment these specifically because if you if you end up augmenting the physical design structures to keep in the database this is in, this is instigating that we we keep all the existing physical design structures. I advocate that um, but you know, it always does. You, this doesn't actually get executed when you actually do instantiate. It just recommends that this be that this be instantiated. Okay. So all I'm going to do here, I'm going to I'm going to click do not clip any existing PDSs. Okay. Because I don't want to have unused unused uh, uh, physical design structures or objects within my database if it's not being used. So now we're running the analysis. You can see here on the upper left hand side that. It will also record all the analysis that are that that have been completed, the time, the day, etc. Now, if you run this on an environment that doesn't have, um, doesn't have any plan caches because nothing has been executed, you obviously aren't going to get anything, right? It ha they have to be executed to create the plan cache. So here we see the different recommendations. None of these have been executed, okay? So what we then want to do is it's recommending that you drop this specific uh, index. Okay, so if I want to, I can select all of them or none of them. I want to execute these granularly. So I can just right click here and I can copy to clipboard. 
conversely, if I'm in a development or test environment, uh, I, would, I would strongly recommend just going in and applying all of the recommendations. This is again related to specifically index management. So you can see here that we are removing a lot of indexes. This would not be the case if these tables were being actively queried. You're going to notice a direct correlation between the number of indexes that I'm dropping here and the query that I have here, which I am pasting into the description, that evaluates the, all of the tables on, on your database and whether or not they've ever been actually read. So in this instance, the SQL Server Database Engine Tuning Advisor is taking a look at that and saying, well, these tables are never being queried, thus why would you have so many indexes on them? That's what it's saying. Then that's what it's thinking, and that's why we have the results that, that we have. And it's not pertaining to creating indexes, because it will advocate for those as well. So now that we've ran this, let's just go ahead and let's run the first portion of our script. So that's just the first portion. We've gone ahead and we've just deleted one of the um, indices and on human resources dot employee. Okay. So you can see here that if I would if I wanted to apply all of these actions, I could go ahead and apply them. I could save them or I could continue to evaluate them. So I hope that, that this uh, has given you a great overview of the Database Engine Tuning Advisor. Um, I would like to say that the Oracle version of this cost $40,000 per core, and that's as of 2011, I believe. So you get this free for, with SQL Server, okay? So in, this, is, this is a major, major freebie. It's amazing, and all DBAs should be leveraging this uh, for most, of, most, if not all, of their databases. And again, please check out the script uh, in the description below and uh, save it to your favorites. Thanks so much.